Peter the Great, born 1672, died 1725, ruled the Tsardom of Russia, and later the Russian Empire from May 7, 1682 until his death in 1725, jointly ruling before 1696 with his elder half-brother. Ivan V, through a number of successful wars, he expanded the Tsardom into a much larger empire that became a major European power, that also laid the groundwork for the Imperial Russian Navy after capturing ports at Azov and the Baltic Sea. He led a cultural revolution that replaced some of the traditionalist and medieval social and political systems with ones that were modern, scientific, westernized and based on the Enlightenment. Peter's reforms had a lasting impact on Russia, and many institutions of the Russian government trace their origins to his reign. He is also known for founding and developing the city of St. Petersburg, which remained the capital of Russia until 1917. Title The imperial title of Peter the Great was the following. By the grace of God, the most excellent and great sovereign emperor Pyotr Alexeyevich, the ruler of all the Russias, of Moscow, Kiev, of Vladimir, of Novgorod, Tsar of Kazan, Tsar of Astrakhan and Tsar of Siberia, sovereign of Peskov, great prince of Smolensk, of Kiev, Yugorsk, of Perm, of Vyotka, of Bulgaria and others, sovereign and great prince of the Novgorod lower lands of Chernigov, of Ryazan, of Rostov, of Yaroslavl, of Belozersk, of Udora, of Kandia and the sovereign of all the northern lands and the sovereign of the Iverian lands, of the Kartlian and Georgian kings, of the Kabardin lands, of the Circassian and mountain princes and many other states and lands western and eastern here and there and the successor and sovereign and ruler. Early life Named after the apostle and described as a newborn as with good health, his mother's black, vaguely Tatar eyes and a tuft of auburn hair, from an early age Peter's education was put in the hands of several tutors, most notably Nikita Zotov, Patrick Gordon, and Paul Menesius on January 29, 1676. Tsar Alexis died, leaving the sovereignty to Peter's elder half-brother, the weak and sickly Theodor III of Russia. Throughout this period the government was largely run by Artemon Matveyev, an enlightened friend of Alexis, a political head of the Narishkin family, and one of Peter's greatest childhood benefactors. This position changed when Fyodor died in 1682, as Fyodor did not leave any children, a dispute arose between the Miloslavsky family. Maria Miloslavsky was the first wife of Alexis I, and Arishkin family, Natalia Narishkina was the second wife, over who should inherit the throne. Peter's other half-brother, Ivan V of Russia, was next in line for the throne, but he was chronically ill and of infirm mind. Consequently, the Boyar Duma, Council of Russian Nobles, shows the ten-year-old Peter to become Tsar with his mother as regent. This arrangement was brought before the people of Moscow, as ancient tradition demanded, and was ratified. Sophia, one of Alexis' daughters from his first marriage, led a rebellion of the Streltsy, Russia's elite military corps, in April to May 1682. In the subsequent conflict, some of Peter's relatives and friends were murdered, including Matveyev, and Peter witnessed some of these acts of political violence. The Streltsy made it possible for Sophia, the Miloslavskys, the clan of Ivan, and their allies to insist that Peter and Ivan be proclaimed joint Tsars, with Ivan being acclaimed as the senior, Sophia acted as regent during the minority of the sovereigns and exercised all power. For seven years she ruled as an autocrat. A large hole was cut in the back of the dual-seated throne used by Ivan and Peter. Sophia would sit behind the throne and listen as Peter conversed with nobles, while feeding him information and giving him responses to questions and problems. This throne can be seen in the Kremlin Armory in Moscow. Peter was not particularly concerned that others ruled in his name, he engaged in such pastimes as shipbuilding and sailing, as well as mock battles with his toy army, Peter's mother sought to force him to adopt a more conventional approach, and arranged his marriage to Eudoxia Lopakina in 1689. The marriage was a failure, and ten years later Peter forced his wife to become a nun and thus freed himself from the union. By the summer of 1689, Peter, then aged 17, planned to take power from his half-sister Sophia, whose position had been weakened by two unsuccessful Crimean campaigns against the Crimean Khanate in an attempt to stop devastating Crimean Tatar raids into Russia's southern lands. When she learned of his designs, Fia conspired with some leaders of the Streltsy, who continually aroused disorder and dissent. Peter, warned by others from the Streltsy, escaped in the middle of the night to the impenetrable monastery of Troitsy Sergeyeva Lavra, there he slowly gathered adherents who perceived he would win the power struggle. Sophia was eventually overthrown, with Peter I and Ivan V continuing to act as Khazars, Peter forced Sophia to enter a convent, where she gave up her name and her position as a member of the royal family. Still, Peter could not acquire actual control over Russian affairs, 
power was instead exercised by his mother, Natalia Nerishkina. It was only when Natalia died in 1694 that Peter, now aged 22, became an independent sovereign, formally. Ivan V was a co-ruler with Peter, though being ineffective. Peter became the sole ruler when Ivan died in 1696 without male offspring, while Peter was 24 years old. Peter grew to be extremely tall as an adult, especially for the time period, reportedly standing 6 feet 8 inch. Peter, however, lacked the overall proportional heft and bulk generally found in a man that size. Both his hands and feet were small, and his shoulders were narrow for his height. Likewise, his head was small for his tall body. Added to this were Peter's noticeable facial tics, and he may have suffered from petty mal seizures, a form of epilepsy, during his youth. Peter befriended Patrick Gordon, Franz Lefort, and several other foreigners in Russian service, and was a frequent guest in Moscow's German quarter, where he met his Dutch mistress Anna Mons. Reign Peter implemented sweeping reforms aimed at modernizing Russia. Heavily influenced by his advisors from Western Europe, Peter reorganized the Russian army along modern lines and dreamed of making Russia a maritime power. He faced much opposition to these policies at home but brutally suppressed rebellions against his authority, including by the Streltsy, Bashkirs, Astrakhan, and the greatest civil uprising of his reign, the Bolavan Rebellion. Peter implemented social modernization in an absolute manner by introducing French and Western dress to his court and requiring courtiers, state officials, and the military to shave their beards and adopt modern clothing styles. One means of achieving this end was the introduction of taxes for long beards and robes in September 1698. In his process to westernize Russia, he wanted members of his family to marry other European royalty. In the past his ancestors had been snubbed at the idea but now, it was proving fruitful. He negotiated with Frederick William, Duke of Curlin to marry his niece, Anna Ivanovna. He used the wedding in order to launch his new capital, St. Petersburg, where he had already ordered building projects of westernized palaces and buildings. Peter hired Italian and German architects to design it. As part of his reforms, Peter started an industrialization effort that was slow but eventually successful. Russian manufacturing and main exports were based on the mining and lumber industries. For example, by the end of the century Russia came to export more iron than any other country in the world. To improve his nation's position on the seas, Peter sought to gain more maritime outlets. His only outlet at the time was the White Sea at Arkhangelsk. The Baltic Sea was at the time controlled by Sweden in the north, while the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea were controlled by the Ottoman Empire and Safavid Empire respectively in the south. Peter attempted to acquire control of the Black Sea, which would require expelling the Tatars from the surrounding areas. As part of an agreement with Poland that ceded Kiev to Russia, Peter was forced to wage war against the Crimean Khan and against the Khan's overlord, the Ottoman Sultan. Peter's primary objective became the capture of the Ottoman fortress of Azov, near the Don River. In the summer of 1695 Peter organized the Azov campaigns to take the fortress, but his attempts ended in failure. Peter returned to Moscow in November 1695 and began building a large navy. He launched about 30 ships against the Ottomans in 1696, capturing Azov in July of that year. On September 12, 1698, Peter officially founded the first Russian navy base, Taganrog.